whether you want to be a pilot, you know, whether you want to be a businesswoman, whether you want to be a banker or anything, right? Every, every single one of us has a goal. And eventually, you guys are going to figure out what it is that you guys want to do in your life, right? But the key is that we want to understand is it doesn't matter what kind of adversity, it doesn't matter what it is that we're going through life that tries to stop us from it. In this case, if somebody's born with no arms and somebody and she says, hey, I want to become a pilot, most people are going to tell her, you can't be a pilot. You, know, you don't have arms. You need your arms for you to go ahead and fly. Right? But in her case, she overcame it. She said, you know what? I have adversity, but in this case, I'm going to create this opportunity to become more than just a pilot. I'm going to become the only girl that can actually fly the airplane without arms. So whenever it is that you have some kind of obstacle, something is stopping you from achieving what it is that you want, you can actually turn that to your advantage and achieve something really great. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right, so what stopped me initially was because I thought people were gonna say things to me, right? People are gonna tell me, oh, well, you're a Muslim, you wanna go fly, you know, you know, oh, you can't do this or that. But then I realized that the only thing that stopped me from getting this done earlier was myself, right? It was because I was scared. That's why you're, you should never, ever, ever, ever be scared. If you're scared of something, it's just because you don't know much about it. That means you need to study more about it, you need to learn more about it, you know, and so that way you can become more comfortable. Okay. So the first time you go fly, you're going to feel scared because you don't know how to fly, you don't know how the airplane is going to react, you don't know how to land, but then once you learn all of these things, then you become comfortable and then you're no longer scared. When you pitch down, you're going to pitch down just a little bit. When you turn left, you're going to turn left just a little bit, right? And turn right, you're going to turn right just a little bit. And what Manolo is going to do is, right, he's going to sit with you guys, make sure that you know how to control the stick before he even tries to make you guys take off, okay? So that way the inputs that you guys are doing is going to be just enough, you know, or close enough, right? So, <clears throat> again, what makes the airplane pitch up and pitch down? The stick, the stick. There you go. The stick, right? Good. The second thing that you guys are going to have to worry about is the throttle, which is right over here. This is the throttle, okay? Now, the throttle is going to control the engine, right? <clears throat> you guys, um, when, whenever you advance the throttle, okay, um, if Manolo tells you full throttle, you're going to want to put the throttle all the way full, right? And when he tells you bring back the throttle, you're going to want to bring it all the way back down. Now, what happens again, a common mistake that everybody does to me the first time I ever, you know, take them flying, is when I tell them, full throttle, they just grab it and they just go, ooh, you know? And then I'm like, whoa, wait, wait, you know? Or, or when I tell them, all right, bring back the throttle, they just grab it and they just go, ooh, right? So again, we're gonna learn from that, and we're gonna tell you, as a flight instructor, we're gonna tell you, hey, take your time. Make it at a three second motion, right? So it's gonna go one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Right? And then when you bring it back, you're just gonna go at a three second motion again. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Right? So count. When you're advancing the throttle, count. Say one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. That way you don't do anything that you know is gonna scare you or you don't you, you keep it safe and keep it fun all the time, right? Because we always wanna be safe and we always wanna, you know, have fun. Right? Right? Alright, cool. So you guys remember what's the first thing this that we talked about? If you guys forget everything, what's the one thing that you guys are always gonna remember? The horizon. Yeah, what about the horizon? There you go, right? Okay, cool. So that's the one thing that you guys are not going to forget, right? It's, it's similar to being a good student in anything it is that you want to be. If you want to be, again, a doctor, a lawyer, a pilot, you know, a businesswoman. What is it you want to be? An FBI agent. Even if you want to be an FBI agent, right? It doesn't matter what it is that you want, right? It doesn't matter what it is that you want. You can do it, but there's one condition. You know who teaches you guys the most. Like, where is it that you learn most of your information from? Can you guys, can any of you guys tell me the answer? Where, who do you rely on to teach you guys? Yeah. Who do you rely on mostly to teach you? The teacher. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, okay. The person you rely on the most to teach you, right, is yourself. Your teacher and your parents teach you how to learn. 
they teach you the difference between right and wrong and they give you guidance, right? But if you want to be as successful at whatever it is that you want, you have to open up the book and study. The most important work is really the homework. Homework is a lot more important than the classroom. They're just going to tell you, hey, read this book, read this book, read this book, read this book, right? So the time that you spend over here, this is all going to be the homework, right? So when you're over here and you're actually reading the books, you know, you're actually reading whatever it is that you're supposed to, you're learning it from the source. Because guess how your teacher learned things? Guess how your parents learned things? You know? They all learn it by reading the books. They all learn it by reading it, you know, from the source. That's where all of the knowledge is from. Right? Cool. Zahra, how do you feel about getting ready to go up there? Are you scared? Are you excited? Are you scared? What do you think is going to be the most exciting part about going up there? Flying, uh, flying into the air. Flying into the air, wow. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Yo, math is awesome, right? And here's why I'm going to tell you guys it's awesome, right? Because
because you get a chance to help out others. And when you get a chance of helping out others, that makes you feel good, and that also makes you realize that you have a responsibility. You have a responsibility of being the best person you possibly can, so that when people can look up to you, right, and inspire people.